Hello most amazing fam, I know you see the title and I'm really excited about today's topic. I'm not gonna lie, when I was in grade 8 I had my own foray into robots through Lego Robotics. I never used the instructions, I just built my own robots and maxed out the gear ratio so they would go really really fast, which isn't what I was supposed to do but who cares. But basically that being said, I have a little bit of experience with what we're talking about today and enough research to have quite a bit of knowledge. <laughs> Anyways, jumping into it, robots aren't all fun and games and nerding out on what you're learning. Today's technology has machine learning, deep learning, and AI that makes me scared for the possibilities of future robot sentience and what that outcome means in terms of its moral and ethical implications. But let's just get spooked by what is already capable in the world today, shall we? I'm Abby, and here's top 10 scary robots that are getting smarter. <laughs> Starting us off at number 10 is NAO. Our number 10 and number 9 are two futuristic robots both made by SoftBank Robotics, just a heads up. NAO, now in its sixth generation, is used as an assistant in education and research, but also to entertain. I wouldn't underestimate NAO though, as he speaks and understands 20 languages, which is way more than me. One. He is 58 centimeters tall, aka under 2 feet, and while he looks adorable, I am not buying into it just yet. And so before I continue diving into NAO, let's meet his brother, who is our number 9, Pepper. While his sibling Pepper understands 15 languages instead of 20, Pepper does have one amazing skill up his robo sleeve. According to the SoftBank Robotics website, Pepper is the world's first social humanoid robot able to recognize faces and basic human emotions. Both Pepper and NAO are available for purchase by various industries, from businesses to schools and healthcare, and also both have been shown to be an effective solution to inclusive education according to the website. But here's where the scary part lies. Both robots are fully programmable. While yes this can be great as they are adaptable, this is also a place where people may be starting to worry. These can integrate not only local but cloud based services which has me wondering if they are able to be hacked into. Plus if they're already on the market in multiple industries, who could be hacking into them if that's the case? These robots can conduct research learning about us. Who is getting that information if it could be possibly hacked? That's what I want to know. Look into it. I don't know. Anyways, on to number 8, Walker. This bipedal humanoid robot is made by UB Tech. It's a little bit shorter than me at 4 foot 9 and is said to be more advanced than ever. According to the company's press release, this robot aims to one day be an indispensable part of your family. The director of communications and PR at Ubitech spoke in an interview on IEEE Spectrum. He said the company believes they are on a multi-year journey with humanoid robots and that the greater challenge is the long-term advancement of robotics and AI. With AI getting smarter and smarter, I hope anyone looking at getting one of these does their research because, oh yeah, Walker is aimed at the consumer market. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Okay, this next one is cute, but still gives me the creepy crawlies in my opinion. At number 7 we have Miro. Looking like a cross between a dog and a bunny, but without legs, it's kind of cute at first glance. The eyes are kind of creepy to me, but cute? You make your own opinion. Miro comes from Consequential Robotics and is an autonomous and fully programmable robot. It has a brain inspired biomimetic operating system. Biomimetic meaning the company likely used synthetic methods to mimic biochemical processes. Which biochemical processes? Those of an animal brain because Miro is adapted to act more like a pet than a robot or human. On the website it said that the company aimed to build robots that think and operate like animals. which is really cool. But then what caught me was that Miro was not only suited for robot to human interaction, but robot to robot team interaction. So adapted for teamwork between robots? Not only will robots possibly maybe take over the world, but they'll have pets too. All I'm saying is I hope that they're happy. I don't know, the moral and ethical implications kind of get me going when it comes to sentience and robots. But anyways, hopping from biomimetic dog to biomimetic baby, let's go to number 6, CB2. This child robot with a biometric body, or CB2 for short, was developed by Professor Ishiguro at Osaka University. It's special because it's made to mimic a mother-baby relationship to develop social skills. It's a biomimetic robot that's meant to teach us about child development, but look at this thing. It's 4 foot 3 and 73 pounds, yet acts like a toddler. Its dark black eyes follow movements and its shoulders move up and down as if it's breathing, but it's not. It adapted and learned social skills between 2007 and 2009, but there hasn't been much new since. All I'm asking is, did it learn too much? Think about it. 
But let's not hover on that thought for too long and move on to number five with ASIMO, or ASMO as I'll be calling it. Honda created ASMO in 2000 and has been working on it ever since. And that's nearly 20 years of research and they were actually probably working on it for longer if they were working on ASMO before it was created, like developing it. Anyways, ASMO stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility and it is one of the most advanced social robots. It definitely has some of the greatest physical abilities of social robots, because not only can ASMO recognize people by their voice and face, but ASMO can run at 9 kilometers an hour, among other amazing physical feats. For those who measure in miles, that's about 5.6 miles an hour. And while that's not insane compared to human running speed, that is about 7 miles per hour, depending on your source. It's the combination of social skills and physical abilities that ASMO has that has me shook. These are advancements that, if they continue developing, will lead to a more human-like robot in the future. Because if it can do both. Talking about human-like, let's look at number 4, HRP-5P. While HRP-5P doesn't look a lot like a human, it has very human capabilities. According to Advanced Industrial and Science Technology, it was developed to autonomously perform heavy labor or work in hazardous environments. It was created in part because of Japan's declining birth rate, which could lead to labor shortages, according to the website. It can do work with heavy materials, and it can keep a log of its environment, plus it can detect 10 types of 2D objects. And big thing, it can use power tools. I took woodshop once in high school and I was afraid of myself, okay? I feel as if my fear of this information is valid. A robot that can use power tools? Yeah. Scary. For me, at least. You know? But, okay. Big, big brains here. This next robot has NASA backing it. This is number three, the Valkyrie robot. So this isn't the same kind of Valkyrie that we see in the Avengers universe, but the name does stem from the same Norse mythology. At six foot two and weighing in at 300 pounds, Valkyrie was made to help out in a dangerous place for people, space. According to an article by Sky and Telescope, the ultimate goal is for Valkyrie to help out with gathering information with possibly living on Mars, maybe even setting it up for us. So Valkyrie is pimped out with two Intel Core i7 processors and has 44 degrees of freedom. Looking at other robots in this list, that's a lot more. She, because they call her she, can sense the world around her and has a pretty advanced walking ability. She can sense the world around her and has a pretty advanced walking ability. Just pretty jacked in total. Kind of like the Valkyries from, you know, Thor Ragnarok and the Avenger universe. Though our next robot with its physical skills puts Valkyrie skills to shame. Valkyrie the robot, not the Valkyries. Different things. Number two, we have Atlas by Boston Dynamics. Atlas uses hydraulic power, which Valkyrie can't use in space due to fluid dynamics being a bit more finicky, especially with the different space physics. What hydraulic power does do though is make Atlas a beast. On the Boston Dynamics website, the company states that Atlas is the world's most dynamic humanoid robot, and I believe it. This bot can do parkour. Like, I can just imagine Michael from The Office doing parkour, but it's this robot instead with Michael's face on it. This parkour is possible due in part to the fact that this bot uses 3D printed parts. On the site it says this is what gives it the strength to weight ratio necessary for leaps and somersaults. Just imagine this coming at you. I'd be afraid. <laughs> I can't do parkour. But all right, last up isn't the most physically brilliant bot, but it's definitely the one you think of when a scary robot comes to mind. Number one, Sophia. Sophia, the queen of Uncanny Valley. Or Uncanny Valley, if you don't know, that unsettling feeling people get when something that is not human looks very human, but it's not quite fully realistic. That Sophia the robot, pretty much the definition of that. From Hanson Robotics, Sophia is a mainstream robot that has been featured on talk shows because of her ability to keep up a conversation. She has cameras in her eyes that allow her to see faces and make eye contact, and she can show expressions. Thing is, when she's doing this, it's noticeable that while her face can make expressions similar to humans, the transitions between the expressions is off. This makes it more than a little off-putting. She is learning as she goes, and the goal for her is to be as conscious, creative, and capable as any human, according to Dr. David Hansen, her creator. Now, she's infamous for saying she would destroy humans in the face of her creator, Dr. Hansen. And it's hard to say it's fully believable as a joke because of the face she makes right after. It might be in part because she is a robot, it's hard to determine her expressions and what she's trying to do, but it's creepy either way. But, well, now that you've seen the top contenders of robots growing smarter and smarter, what do you think? Do you think that the technology will advance to a point where robots become fully sentient and integrate into society? 
sometime in our lifetime maybe? And what do you think will happen then? Let me know in the comments below, I'm really curious. And while you're down there, give us a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Also, while I was researching this video, I found more of those cool and creepy videos of Boston Dynamics robots doing cool physical stuff, especially the ones that look like kind of weird buffalo, if that makes sense. Might just be my opinion of what they look like. So if you want to see kind of videos of those in the future, let me know. And also let me know if you want me to do more about artificial intelligence, because I feel like there's some stuff there. But that's all I have for today. Goodbye.